Please note that any explanations of the psilocybin experience are used purely for educational and entertainment purposes only. The following video does not glorify, condone, or encourage the use or purchase of psychedelic substances. There is no display of graphic use and there are no scenes showcasing drug consumption. Any insinuation of use should be taken as satirical at best, thus falling under the YouTube guidelines and making this video eligible for monetization. What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on the video today. My name is Morgan and in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about mushrooms. But no, not these that you can buy from your local supermarket. We're gonna be talking all about psilocybin mushrooms, magic mushrooms, face melters, or whatever you wanna call them. And because YouTube is very picky about videos like this, I do have to clarify a couple things before we get started on today's video. Number one, no, I am not selling anything in this video. Number two, no, I can't tell you where to find magic mushrooms. And if you have to ask me why I can't tell you where to find magic mushrooms, and number three, I am not condoning that anyone watching this video today use magic mushrooms, take magic mushrooms, or anything like that. I am merely telling my story about how microdosing psilocybin mushrooms has changed my life and changed my mental health in ways that I never thought possible. Now, if you've never taken any sort of psychedelics in your life, the first thing that's probably gonna come to mind when someone says that they use magic mushrooms is some scene that maybe you saw in a movie or a TV show where one of the characters takes mushrooms and starts seeing colorful fairies and things melting and basically just tripping their balls off. And if you have done psychedelics or magic mushrooms before, it might remind you of the time you and a bunch of friends decided to do a hero dose and you got chased around the house by a lion only to realize after the trip that you were just being followed around by a house cat. Not that I'm uh, speaking from experience or that that's happened to me before or anything. And while a lot of people have used psychedelics in the past with some friends to just have a good time and you know trip and see things and act a fool, magic mushrooms also have amazing healing properties that can help people struggling with depression, PTSD, and past traumas. I have struggled with mental illness most of my life and I could never find a solution that would help me aside from using antidepressants and antipsychotics and anti-anxiety medications. And if anyone watching this has ever taken those, you know that while they may help your depression and they may help quiet your head, they also just kind of numb you out and make you like a walking zombie most of the time. And I also wanna clarify before we get further in this video that I am not anti-pills. I'm not anti-psych medicine. Uh, if it wasn't for antidepressants and antipsychotics, I probably wouldn't be here today because at a certain point in my life, they're really the only thing that helped me. But what if I told you that this small amount of powdered psilocybin mushrooms has allowed me to get off all of my psych medicines and live a life free from the unforgiving grasp of mental illness. Now, if you would have told me a year ago that this was possible, I would have said that you were out of your mind. And I always thought that there was only one of two options. Option one being live a life off of medication and constantly be followed around by this dark cloud and just live in this constant state of sadness where the world was just washed in gray or option number two, be on medications that quiet my head, but just be numbed out to every emotion and numb to basically the world. And so today's video is gonna be talking all about microdosing magic mushrooms and how taking this little bit of powder has absolutely changed my life. Psychedelics are often demonized in mainstream media, similar to the way that they treat medical marijuana. There has been extensive clinical research done showing that magic mushrooms are beneficial in helping people who struggle with depression or PTSD or just past traumas that they aren't able to work through normally. A 2013 study from the University of South Florida found that psilocybin stimulates neurogenesis, the growth and repair of brain cells in the hippocampus, which is the brain center for emotion and memory. The study supported the hypothesis that psilocybin can help break the traumatic cycle that occurs in patients with PTSD. John Hopkins even opened the first of its kind Center for Psychedelic and Consciousness Research Facility where they use psychedelics to treat patients with mental illness among other various conditions. And they've released so many peer reviewed studies that show the benefits of psychedelics in treating these ailments. But I'm no doctor and I would probably butcher the medical terminology. So if you'd like to learn more about how 
how psychedelics work in correlation with your brain. I have put some links down here in the description so you guys can check out how medical facilities across the world are using psychedelics to treat mental illness and other various conditions in patients. Now, one of the biggest questions I get when it comes to mushrooms is how does it make you feel? Am I just constantly tripping? Is that why I'm happy now? And no, microdosing magic mushrooms use a very small amount, an amount so small that you can't even tell that you've actually taken anything. And to better explain that, let's first look at a couple of examples of different doses of mushrooms. So a microdose is anything under one gram. One gram is considered a low dose of mushrooms. And after taking that, you'll probably feel some euphoria the world may look a little bit more vibrant, things may move a little bit, but it's not gonna be anything too crazy. A medium dose of mushrooms is around 1.75 grams, and after taking that, you're gonna start noticing some differences in the world. Things may look a little swimmy, things may be moving. The world's just gonna feel like a, a wonderful place. A high dose of magic mushrooms is 3.5 grams, and after that, you are going to go on a fantastical journey. And then an ultra high dose, or a god dose, however you want to describe it is usually five grams and above and after taking those you are going to completely lose grasp of reality what's real and what's not i've been there before and let me tell you that it can be an absolutely terrifying thing if you're not ready for the trip if you're not in a good environment or if you're not tripping with someone who you are comfortable with or have a trip sitter but we're not talking about any sort of dose that's going to give you any sort of effects you know you're not going to see things things aren't going to start melting you're not just going to be tripping at work or anything we're talking about doses lower than one gram around 0.3 to 0.5 grams everyone is different when it comes to microdosing. It all depends on your body weight, your tolerance, a bunch of variable factors go into it. But my comfortable dose of mushrooms is 0.3 to 0.5 grams. 0.5 being a little on the higher side to where I usually feel a little too much body high and a little too much euphoria. It kind of makes you feel like you're about to go into a trip without ever actually fully going into a trip. And I'm not microdosing to trip. So my go-to dose that I use to treat my mental health is 0.3 grams. But the thing about mushrooms too is you also need to cycle on and off. It's not something that you just continuously take. So for my schedule, I usually do three days on and then four days off. For my dosing cycle, I'll usually do a month straight. So that's three days on, four days off for an entire month. And then after that, I'll stop taking them and the effects usually last between six to eight months before I need to do another cycle of doses. Now the next question you probably have is exactly how does this make you feel? If you're not tripping, if you're not seeing anything, are there any sort of effects that you can really notice? So when I first started taking magic mushrooms, I did notice that whenever I would take like my first or second dose, I would get kind of a, like a rush of euphoria, kind of like, a, like an intense body high. After a couple doses though, that feeling kind of goes away. And oftentimes people will increase their dose because they're kind of chasing that rush, chasing that feeling. But for people like me who are just using it for the mental health benefits, I'm not really looking for any sort of effect. I want it to be working in the background without me actually noticing that it's working in the background. The, uh, the colors look a little bit more vibrant in the world, but you know, nothing's melting, you're not tripping, you're still fully functional, but the world is just a wonderful place, honestly. And as far as how long it took before I started noticing a considerable difference in my mental health, it was honestly pretty shocking to me that within a week I had noticed a complete change. So again, I am someone who has been diagnosed with major depressive disorder, bipolar, PTSD. So most of my days just waking up and getting out of bed was a chore because every day that I would wake up, there was just this dark cloud over me. It was like trying to swim through an oil spill. Just the color of the world just kind of had a gray wash to it and everything seemed hopeless. If the slightest thing went wrong in my life it would just cause my mental state to just go into chaos and everything would come crashing down on me and what I started noticing about a week into my microdosing journey is these things weren't happening anymore if something happened in my life or at work or just something that would normally send me over the edge I started noticing that 
I was just able to process it, you know, instead of getting bummed out, instead of, you know, letting my mind take over and just send me into a downward spiral, I started noticing that I was just able to face it. You know, I was, I could just take it and process it and kind of take a breath and then keep going. And another thing is I'm a creative person. You know, I love writing music or making jewelry or making videos, things like that. And so what would often happen is I would have all of these ideas, but my head would tell me that I wasn't good enough to do that. Oh, you can't accomplish that. You can't do this. You can't do that. And so my brain would literally talk me out of doing things that I love just because that's just what mental illness does. Whenever you are deep into the throes of depression, it doesn't let you go and it doesn't let you experience any joy. And that is one of the biggest things I noticed after I started microdosing is I was just motivated. Like if I wanted to do something, I just go and do it. If I have a project I want to knock out or some, like a song I want to write, I just go and I immediately start doing it. Like, you know, I also never really had much of a sleep schedule. I would spend most of my nights tossing and turning and I would always have nightmares. Like nightmares and sleep paralysis was something that would happen to me every single night. And after I started microdosing, I didn't have those either. I could actually get some sleep and I would wake up feeling rested. And now whenever I wake up, the world's exciting. It's a new day. I'm ready to get up and I'm ready to just conquer and I'm ready to do the things that I love. To whereas before, I just, it was just not in me. I was just so sad and so beat down that honestly the first thought that I would have whenever I would wake up in the morning is I would be disappointed that I didn't die in my sleep and my days would be filled with thoughts of self-harm and just talking down to myself. And anyone who has mental illness, you, you know how it is. Your brain is your own worst enemy. And after I started microdosing, all of that had went away. All of those negative thoughts, all of those feelings of, you know, not having any self-worth, I didn't feel that anymore. I was confident, I was happy. I could not only give love and positivity to others, but I was actually receiving it because for once in my life, I felt like I was worth something. After my first month of mushrooms, when I stopped, it was the same. It just kept going and kept going and kept going. Every day I would wake up and I was, I was a little trepidatious at first that, you know, one day I was gonna wake up and the rug was gonna be pulled out from under me and I was gonna be back in the same exact headspace that I was before. But every day that I woke up, everything was just fantastic. And, and I was just motivated and just happy to be alive, which for, I've never felt like that in my entire life. Most of you know, but if you don't, I was born with a condition called cystic fibrosis, which is a chronic and oftentimes terminal illness. The average life expectancy for someone with cystic fibrosis prior to 2019 was in the late 30s. I spent most of my life in and out of hospitals going day to day in survival mode. That's the only thing I could focus on. So when something bad would happen, I would just kind of compartmentalize that trauma and shove it somewhere to where I didn't actively feel it, but I wasn't working through it because all that I knew how to do was survive. Every day was a battle of getting up and doing my medications. And if I had to go in the hospital, working my ass off to get my lung functions back up, because the thing about cystic fibrosis is you can't stop it. You can't slow it down. Uh, and at the end of the day, usually the two end game goals are either you go out with the lungs that you have in a blaze of glory or you get a lung transplant. But at the end of 2019, medical science has advanced so much that came out with a new medication called Trikafta, which has effectively fixed me and got me as close to being normal as I probably will ever be. And so after I got on Trikafta, I was no longer in that survival mode. So then all that was left was me and those traumas. Another thing that microdosing has allowed me to do is begin to introspectively look at myself and really start assessing some of the trauma I have. And it's allowed me to begin to heal myself from the inside. You know, a lot of these past traumas and these core memories that just kind of haunted me, I could never face because as soon as I brought those memories up, boom, I was back into that dark pit because you know those, there were just painful things that I didn't want to face. But now with the micro dosing, it's like there, there's a safety net there. And that's not to say that bringing up past traumas doesn't hurt, 
but with microdosing, it's allowed me to finally confront those things and finally begin to heal and turn into the person that I want to be and into someone who is positive and someone who wants to motivate and help others. I've said a couple times that getting on Trikafta was basically like getting a second chance at life. It was basically like being reborn again at 30 years old. But honestly, starting the microdosing is really is what has given me my second chance is what has given me this new lease on life because now that my body is fixed the mushrooms are allowing me to fix my mind and fix my spirit and fix my soul and it's just been one of the most amazing and groundbreaking things that I've probably ever experienced in my life just as someone who spent their entire life bogged down with mental illness and depression and anxiety because I've had these for all of my life but I grew up in a family to where you know if you said that you were sad or was feeling down you know they told you you know just just suck it up you know we could call in a specialist to find my foot in your ass I kind of got to the point where I would just compartmentalize all those things and didn't really know that I had depression until it eventually got to a boiling point point. and so as I got older it just kept boiling and boiling until eventually it boiled over and I tried to take my life and then I really had to do a deep introspective look at myself and the only thing that we could find at the time was the antidepressants and that's why I'm saying that I have nothing against antidepressants because if it wasn't for those medications I probably wouldn't be here today because it was the only thing that kind of gave me a moment of quiet and a moment of peace so I could really look at myself. But after a while, I just noticed how numbed out I was. And yeah, maybe I wasn't sad, but I also wasn't happy. I wasn't anything. I was just going through life as just this kind of numbed out ghost. And you know, that's no way to live. I eventually just reached this breaking point to where I couldn't go on living the way that I was living. I couldn't be either on one side or the other of either just letting my head run my life or being on the other side of just being absolutely numbed out because it wasn't fair to me and it wasn't fair to my loved ones and people around me because I was just a, a numb corpse basically. And I started doing my own research into it but the person who actually turned me on to it and finally kind of gave me the push and the courage to get off of my my antidepressants and try this to see if it would help was the always amazing Steffi Lee. So shout out to Steph. Thank you so much for telling me all about these wonderful magic mushrooms. You're the MVP. I'm sure most of you who are watching this video are already following her, but if you're not, be sure to go follow Steffi Lee on YouTube because she is absolutely amazing. One of my best friends and I love her to death. But that is my story and my journey so far, microdosing magic mushrooms. If you guys have any questions at all about microdosing and about my journey, I would love to do a Q&A about this. So feel free to drop any question that you have in the comments and I will probably make another video kind of going over and answering those and possibly touching on some topics that I most likely forgot to touch on in the video today. But thank y'all so much for checking out the video today. I love you all. If you liked what you saw today, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button right here and then tap the little bell so you don't miss any notifications for any videos moving forward. I'm gonna go get outside though because it is a lovely 80 degree day it's finally started warming up here so i'm gonna get out with my dog we're gonna go play go on some walkies and have a good time i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you on the next video i love you all i'm morgan i'll see you next time later